In this video, we will walk you through the installation of Alma Linux 9.0. Alma Linux from Cloud Linux is the open source replacement for the CentOS 8, which Red Hat discontinued in favor of CentOS 3. Alma Linux 9 was released on May 2022. Codenamed Emerald Puma, Alma Linux 9 provides an array of new features and enhancements to improve user experience and functionality. The first step is to download the Alma Linux ISO image. I always choose minimal and install everything I need based on the purpose of the server. Let's go ahead and go to Alma Linux download page. Choose the 64-bit architecture for version 9.0. And I'll search PH Mirror from the list since I'm from the Philippines. Mirror.prigi.net Then, download the latest minimal ISO. We need to disable Hyper-V in Windows due to 64-bit version 2 of RHEL 9. If you want to read more about it, I'll put a link in the description below. We need to run number 1 and 2 on the command line as administrator. And also we need to edit the registry for the number 3. Open command as administrator, then type the following commands. Let's open regedit and edit this part of the Windows registry. As you can see, the value of this entry is already zero. Because I already disabled Hyper-V on my system prior on making this video. Go ahead and change it to zero in your case, and then click OK. Make sure to fully power down and reboot the host after changing the Hyper-V setting. If you don't do this, you will not be able to install Alma Linux 9 and you will just have kernel panic upon boot. Once you have disabled Hyper-V, open VirtualBox Manager. Click on the New Menu option to create VM. Give it some name. I'll just use Alma Linux 9.0 here. And then, let's select the ISO image of Alma Linux we downloaded earlier. Make sure to enable skip unattended installation option, then click next. For the memory and processor, I'll leave it as is. As well as for virtual hard disk size. 20 GB I think is already good. So I'll leave it also as is. Click on finish to create the virtual machine. The virtual machine of Alma Linux has been created. It's time to start it. For that, make sure it's selected from the left side panel of VirtualBox and then click on the Start button. Once your system boots, using the arrow keys, select the first boot menu option, install Alma Linux 9.0. Then press Enter. From here onwards, the installation process will be the same for the virtual machines and physical servers 
PC or laptops. Next, select your preferred language from the list. I'm from the Philippines, so I'm going to select English Philippines here. And then click on the Continue button. The next step presents you with an installation summary that is broken down into four sections. We will pay attention to three items that are mandatory before proceeding with the installation. First, click on Installation Destination. By default, the partitioning is set to automatic, which means that the installer creates partitions automatically on the selected disk. Let's go with this option. Ensure that the Automatic option is selected as shown. Then click on Done. Next, make sure to set a root password. Feel free to decide whether to allow remote login by root user over SSH. But if you ask me, it's always a bad idea to enable remote root login, so I'm going to leave this disabled. Let's click Done. As you can see, the wizard will ask me again if I want to use my weak password. Since this is just a demo, I'll go ahead and click Done to proceed. Next, we need to create a user. Go ahead and click on User Creation. I want to make my user as administrator, so I'm going to enable this. After that, I need to click on Done twice since I use a weak password. Now that we have configured the necessary parameters for the Alma Linux 9 installation, click on Begin Installation to continue. The installation will take a while as the installer installs all the required packages from the ISO image.
Once the installation is completed, click on Reboot System to reboot the system in order to log in to your fresh installation of Alma Linux 9. Once the reboot is complete, you will be presented with the grub menu as shown. Be sure to select the first option and hit enter. Next, log in using the user I created during the installation process. At this point, you successfully installed Alma Linux 9. That's all for now. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.